I have today nothing to say. I got nothing. And that's the topic of today's podcast. This is the Ultimate Podcast. How to become the ultimate man with your host, Brent, Master Transformation Mentor. Yo, Brent, Master Transformation Mentor here. Just leaving the gym, World Jam, San Diego, Pacific Beach, baby. Starting the car. Welcome to the Ultimate Man Podcast. How to become the ultimate man. More sex, more money, more happiness, more health. This is how to get more of whatever the fuck it is you want in life and become the ultimate version of you. Also, coincidentally, the first ever reality podcast ever recorded doing exactly what it is that we preach. Now that's integrity. I have today nothing to say. I got nothing. And that's the topic of today's podcast. Question I get a lot. Got this question earlier today on the Facebook and it's a question I have gotten many, many times before and a question that I ask many times myself, which is how do I get outside of my head? You know, as men, as, as guys that do stuff like this, we're, we tend to be the thinking type. You know, we tend to be the kind of guys who can very easily slip into what I would consider and many would call over analysis, over analysis. And um, people like that, people like you and me, you know, intellectuals, let's just call them, are often very high on ideas and thoughts and very low on tranquility. You know, the mind tends to be something that stops us from experiencing happiness. So that's what I'm going to talk about right now. Because the way to get out of your head is also the way to becoming a happier dude. And this is 100% entirely arising out of the moment. So I didn't know I was going to talk about this right now, but I am. And that's what you can do when you get outside of your head. That's what you can do when you get outside of your head, is you can flow, right? You can freestyle flow. That's what I would call it, you know? Freestyle flow, which is like one of the most important elements to life. You know, being able to go with the current of life. A lot of people are trying to go against the current of life and end up miserable. And that's a good way to end up miserable. Now, it's very important to go against the grain at times. Never do what they do is... That was actually my senior quote in the yearbook. That's something that I believe in, you know, standing out, innovating. But it's also really important to recognize the universal principles that govern this world that you and I are all of us a part of. And one of those is this. What you resist persists. And this is the single biggest thing that keeps you in your head. This is the single biggest thing that's keeping you in the prison of your mind. Resisting reality. Love being in the flow. And flowing. Being in the flow of life. Being in that moment, in that present moment is something that is such such an enjoyable experience. You know, I just started... <clears throat> motorcycles <laughs> I just started meditating consistently for the first time and I've sort of flirted with this from time to time you know I've been inconsistent over the years but uh, I've been hitting it up every single morning starting my day with a little bit of meditation and um, you know it's pretty interesting because one thing that was stopping me was the time of doing it you know the time investment and one way I was able to get myself to do it at least to start at least to start doing it in the past was lowering the time investment down to 
two minutes. I remember I started with two minutes. I just set the timer on my phone and I would do two minutes. And then I would do, the next day I would do like two minutes and 15 seconds. And then I would just raise it up 15 seconds every time. And this is, this is what I call my plus one strategy. It's something that I've taken into other areas of life, especially with my health in the gym, where I never go up in weights more than 10 pounds at a time and if I do go up in weights I only go up in weights if I do hit my target reps in all of my sets so it's something that's helpful and it's something that can trigger transformation if you do it consistently but my problem was that I couldn't even get myself to take the first step with this meditation thing you know I see the value in being in what I'm talking to you about. I see the value of being in the flow of life and not being stuck all up in your head. I see how charismatic I am. I see how women respond to me. I see how I'm able to come up with creative money-making ideas. And I see how much more intense my workouts are when I'm in the flow of life, when I'm in the present moment and when I'm not all up in my head. But still, I couldn't get myself to take the first step. And I told myself, just do two minutes, but two minutes wasn't, it, it just, it didn't work this time for some reason. So I was stuck in that place for months. And then I heard something that actually caused a shift. And that thing was by a guy named Abel James. He's got a pretty awesome podcast called The Fat Burning Man. Check him out, fatburningman.com. Basically what he said was he does meditation and they it was an interview. The interviewer asked him how he does it. And he said, I just do 10, 10 deep breaths. And that single strategy allowed me to go from not doing meditation to doing meditation. That was the thing that triggered me being able to take the first step. And so I shifted from looking at it as a, a minutes in, in units of minutes and I, I switched to units of breath and when I meditate you know I don't do anything spectacular like I just do a very simple uh, beginner's breath type of meditation I would say a beginner's beginner's breath meditation because in beginner's breath meditation you breathe in and then you pause for a second and then you breathe out and you pause for a second and when I do it I, I don't even pause in between I just take long deep breaths and that's it I'm really just trying to keep my mind clear and not be attached to my thoughts not analyze what comes into my mind just let it be so I did this 10 deep breaths thing and boom what I noticed, and I've noticed this a million times before, but I had forgotten because it had been so long since I had meditated. What I noticed was the amazing feeling of happiness and positivity that arose when I finished the meditation. It was almost as if I took a happy pill and boom you felt the effects immediately and I'm talking 10 deep breaths right and you know I'm taking pretty slow breaths but it's probably you know a minute or so a minute something and then the next day funny enough I was able to do use the timer and do two minutes and then the next day I did three minutes and uh, you know that was today so I'm on my third day in a row and uh, I'm really happy about that and I'm gonna keep it going <laughs> Yeah, that's a side note. Two of the most important words you will ever hear. Keep going. That's something that uh, you need to hear. And it's something that I need to hear right now. So I'm going to keep it going and uh, continue practicing being in the flow of life and experiencing these amazing and incredible benefits in my sex life, in my business, in my health, and in my happiness from having a clear head and not being all up in my head and just being more in the moment, being more connected to my body, being more like the men who were more like men back in the day used to be before all this technology and crazy overthinking over analysis that we are all victims of today so you know, I want to encourage you to take today I would really like it if you would take today and practice you some meditation practice you some meditation you know and experience the joy of 
being in the moment and getting outside of your head and just notice how that carries over how that spills over into the other areas of your life that have to do with sex money health and happiness and it's pretty incredible you know I've been talking right now for let me look at the timer 11 minutes or so and all of this is just sort of arising in this moment what's arising each word you know I say something and then I say something else and the only way that you can do that is being in the moment you know a lot of times I see guys struggling with this because they're really intelligent and it's almost like they're too smart for their own good and they are constantly frustrated with having other guys get the girl that they want that are a lot less in intelligent and I feel for these guys because I've been there before I know what that feels like and it doesn't feel good but at the same time you have to be able to step up and get outside of your head and that sounds sort of weird but it's true you are not a victim of your mind you are not a victim of your mind you're in control of your mind your mind is here to serve you and until you take control and you do things like meditation and you show that motherfucker who's boss on a regular and consistent basis you will constantly be getting pulled around tossed around by your mind and you are constantly be getting lied to about life by that thing in between your ears so I want you to take today and do the 10 deep breaths technique 10 deep breaths technique I mean deep breaths <laughs> 10 deep breaths technique and let me know in the comments what you experience with your sex, your money, your health, and your happiness. And Real I quick before we get out right of here, now. if you liked if this you podcast, make sure you subscribe you to future episodes at ultiman.com slash subscribe. So That's U-L-T-A-M-A-N dot com slash subscribe. I'm gonna go make me some post-workout dinner grub down and uh, relax a little bit. I hope you're doing well and I will speak to you soon. This is Brand Master Transformation Mentor, aka Chill as Fuck, signing off.